All right, so I'm going to do a real quick radar update. It just turned midnight here in Dolphin Island, Alabama, in which I will indicate by this magnifying glass. To my immediate right or east, you can see where the first rain bands are getting very close to the Dolphin Island area. So that's one thing. As soon as I get some rain here... Uh, in actually my backyard, I will definitely go outside and do another outside video. So I don't want to bore you with the same type type videos. Uh, so if you look at the center of circulation, which uh, I'm juggling one hand in one and, and a finger in the other, but if you look at the center of circulation, and I'm going to back the camera out just a little bit so you can see the coast. So this is the center of circulation. And again, that's a projected model of where the center of circulation may go across. So where it is now would be pretty much Pensacola, or right in that general area. So if you look closely, you can see that line begin to shift west once again. So uh, at the end of the day, um, keep your eye on that movement of that center uh, of circulation. It is nothing intense outside, but it is progressively picking up in terms of wind intensity. There's no rain yet, but it looks like on the radar that we're going to be in some rain bands. And again, we are right there. And the center of circulation is right here. So it's not far away. You can see the blues and greens wrapping around that front right quadrant. So if it does come across where that purple line is then i would say apalachicola panama city will have a rough go of it however that center seems to me that it's again wobbling as they normally do and it's wobbled north and then west and then north and then west so reminiscent of katrina and obviously again the the, the size of the storm is it's not even comparable but she wobbled her way in and came into the, 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 the I mean, if, if I remember correctly, I may be wrong, but it was almost about to make landfall in Mississippi and then kind of bobbled down and around. It's possible that this one will do the same thing and, and really change where that front right quadrant makes landfall. So let's keep an eye on that. I, again, I, 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 I reference uh, my weather enthusiast in Mississippi that uh, since this was 90L, uh, he was thinking Gulfport just because of the similarities with Nate, and, and, and I thought potentially Pensacola, and again, we're Dolphin Island right in the middle. So I think all three of those options are still open. It just depends upon if it jogs to the west. So if it carries this uh, exact track that this line indicates, you can see that the western side of the storm is uh, a, a fairly good amount uh, into and over the Alabama-Mississippi border. So I, I would think that sometime in the very early morning hours that here in Dolphin Island, again, located where the magnifying glass is, that we should have some pretty good footage uh, of the weather here. It may be around sunup, and it may be sooner, but I'll make a video again outside once the rain starts falling. And uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, I thought everybody might would like to see this, especially if you have property or keeping up with your property here in Dolphin Island and you are uh, not here uh, to, to look or to keep up with it. So uh, all in all, so far, everything's good. But uh, this little uh, jog here will keep it over warmer water and will give it the opportunity to strengthen a little bit. So we'll see what happens. He, uh, Alberto may become a hurricane after all. So let's, let's keep our eyes open. Hopefully the West End stays above water. Uh, st uh, stay safe. Uh, stay undercover. And I'll do my best to, to keep grinding this out for you guys. Take care. Thanks a lot. See you later.